That is Spitz's second goal of the day. Okay, good, because I don't want to be rude.
blue team goal scored by number seven, Alex Rosner, his first of the game. Assisted by number six, Henry Graff, his first assist of the game. Hey, let's get an NBA on the 150 side here, okay? Attention fans in just a few moments have been announced the names of two contestants to participate in the nationwide halftime shooting contest. <laughs> Jackson Chazinski. White team goal scored by number one. Jackson Chazinski is first of the game. Assisted by number 10, Joe McCarty, the second of the game.
to be killing. <laughs> White team goal scored by number one, Timmy Kelly, his first. Assisted by number six, Michael Sowers, his first assist of the game. Texas fans are nationwide halftime shooting contest. Participants are Harry McDermott and Stuart McLean. Both young men will a stick, thanks to our friends at Nationwide. <laughs> Sowers, Williams, and Monahan. Let's go, boys. Right. Kelly and her people come in at the 10 minute mark. Got it, guys? Yeah. Wait, we need to say, Coach, Coach, good news. We come back out. What? You need inside. Okay. Jack, Thank if you play good job, boys. Rowlett? Uh, inside, bro. Get in on close to start. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job, boy. Go ahead and start, Tony. Gentlemen, whenever you're ready.
For the white team, Brad Smith had two goals. Michael Sowers and Joe Lucharty had two assists. Which, which attack unit is in there? Jack Kaczynski, uh, 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 Timmy uh, Kelly, Ty, Henry, and Hill. And Alex, Alex okay, and who are three goals? So we're gonna like start with those ones. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start with a little NBA look. So we got six, eight. Ty, let's get you with X here. Okay. Um, who are they pull? They pull Conrad every time. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Docs, you're gonna send a little razor pick. So we're gonna get it on the wing. So it's not gonna be a top side pick. It's gonna be okay. an underneath pick that way. All right. So we're gonna have the other two middies. One's gonna flare here. Alex, back it out. Curling up for your left. Back it out. Yeah, come from, from this yeah. angle if you want. However you want. So we have a little razor action over here. Tens drifting through X. All right. Let's stay. Let's stay off the ball here. All right. 32 and three. Make sure that we're off ball and we're clearing back side. Right, let's go, Docs. All right. Let's go, boys. Hey, hey, hey. Two things. Okay. Two things we need to say out there. Okay. We're we're switching every time on D. Okay, but we got we got to engage. Okay, if we're gonna switch, okay, coming off that switch, we need to engage that defender, not give him that space to give him his, his hands free. Second, okay, let's start. You know, big boy lacrosse. Let's start managing the game coming down. You know, into the quarters. Okay, if we're gonna be up by a couple goals, okay, let's let's be smart and manage the game. Okay, we need some leadership out there. Let's go, the boys. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Hey, hey, blue. this quarter, fellas. Let's go. Here we got blue on three. One, two, three. Blue. blue. Video in the whole time, Jim? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll send it to you on Dropbox. Thanks, bud. I'll send it to KID. Hey, like, new office. This looks like one of them jumps every time and they just keep going, doesn't it? Yeah. Like the last time it looked like white jump, that time it looked like blue jump. One time a guy jumped and they let him do it again. I, I, I gotta read up on the international rules. <laughs> I don't believe the I don't either. Thank 
Tennis. Blue team goal scored by number four, Alex Tannen. First of the game, unassisted beat Friday.
Good stuff. When we value the ball and share it, offensively, we're pretty darn good. Right? Everybody gets a touch and it goes around at least once or more. We do some good, hard, smart, team-oriented stuff. When we go Banshee and try too hard, we're not all that good. On three, USA. One, two, three. USA. Hey, Blue. Come on, Blue, let's go. Bring it in. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Eyes up. All right. Now, this is 20 minutes. All right. Coach, you just broke it. You got your marching oh, orders. Yeah. All right. We got a 10 9 ball game. Here. Okay. 20 minutes. Let's empty it out. Everyone's fatigued. Everyone's kind of hitting that wall. All right. Let's play clean lacrosse for 20 more minutes. All right. Getting the ball off the ground, clearing the ball. Still looking for that big time dive on the end line that I'm waiting for. All right. That's a fourth quarter play. It's going to make a difference in this game. I heard a little bit more on the sidelines. I want to see more. All right. The team that wins this game is going to be a team that empties the tank. And finishes off the deal. That's the team that's going to walk away with the W right now. All right, hands up. USA on three. One, two, three. USA. Let's go. Pace get it, Willie. Get it, Willie. One more. Huh? Right. Hot shot. Hey! Yeah, 
Four. Guys, yellow, Michael, we're subbing. Michael, we're subbing. Timmy, we're subbing. Michael Sauer. Timmy, when Joe caught the ball here in the corner, Michael, you another one Michael right behind you at that point. Michael Sauer is your first game. Two of you guys are kind of leading by each other. So, Mike, tell Timmy to get through there. When Joe catches it here, send Timmy through because he doesn't know you're behind him. Okay, that's all right. Let's get it, Mike. Good job. Come on, Mike. Here you run.
Hey, no, wait on three, one, two, three. Wait, wait offense. Wait offense. Guys, wait offense. Hey. Wait out, wait hey. out. Guys, shoot the ball overhand, right? Catch the ball between the hash marks, bring the thing over the top, and bury it, okay? Yes, sir. All right, let's finish this off. Here we go. Let's go, White. Let's go, Blue on three. Here we go. One, two, three. Blue. Whoa, let's, let's go, Bell. Next full takes it. Go, Blue. Go, Blue. Go, Blue. Go, Blue. Go, Blue. And the first one did it. Okay. Showers, Kelly Williams. Okay, great. Uh, so, Timmy, what number are you? Uh, two. All right, so we got two here. Sowers, where are you? Uh, six behind. So we got six behind. Uh, Lachardi, you're getting short. Lachardi, you're getting short sticked, right? Yeah. Okay, so I want you uh, right on the crease. You're going to jet for Sowers. So I want two. And 30, real high, seven, you seven. guys are going to crisscross, or whatever number uh, yeah, yeah. lefty is. You guys are going to crisscross nice and high. Sowers, which side do you want to pick on? Uh, the left side, please. Okay, so if he's shading you, it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay we're going to set it up, and we're going to set it. Nice hard pick for you. You come hard off that. I want my two middies over the top. Jasinski, Brad, I want you coming into your right hand. Jasinski's rolling off. Sowers, if you don't have anything right away, throw it right up the wing. Okay. Let it move twice, and we'll tap the back side, or you can go through wax with it. Okay? okay let's go, let's go. Time to pick up. Together on three. Hey, One, two, three. Hey, yeah. Let's go, White. Touch fires. Yeah. 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 So like, you got to get through yeah. Blue team goal scored by number seven, Alex Rosner, his fourth of the game. Assistant to number nine, Ryan Conrad, his first of the game. In overtime, the blue team defeats the white team. If you missed any of the action today in the blue white game, make sure to tune in or visit to youtube.com slash US Lacrosse for a replay of the stream of today's game. Come on, way, go ahead, Josh. It's not ESPN, man. Don't worry, you're not my way. Make sure you tag yourselves in Instagram.
along with you. Some of you men will be going back to high school, you know, for your final year, or in some cases two years. All right, again, a lot of these lessons that we've learned together can be, you know, brought. The blueprint something that's got to stay right here. All right, that's who we are. We have an opportunity, all right, to come back together here in November. Mr. Lake will be informing you in the next 24 to 40 hours in terms of those young men that we're fortunate to move on. But understand how grateful we are to have had the opportunity to spend this time together. All right, those that have made it this far, again, congratulations. This is a special, special experience and an opportunity that you had here today. We certainly made the most of it, no doubt about that. So again, on behalf of the staff, we want to thank you. All right, those guys that, again, have that opportunity to, to join us in Columbus in November. All right, understand where we got to pick up. We got to pick up where we left off right here. All right, you're a national team player every single day. All right, not part-time, not, not once or twice a year. All right, that's an everyday habit. We can train the habits in our first two camps. Let's continue to do so. All right? Let's bring it up. Good hey, job, boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good Coach, get your hands in here. Coaches, everyone, let's make sure the, uh, we break. We get five or six guys. We're hugging it out. Let's make sure we give a good further to all the coaches that spend the weekend here with us as well. All right? USA on three. One, two, three. USA. USA. Five or six guys. Get your brothers. Get them all. Okay, so last month, you played for the Under Armour Senior Classic. Now you're here out trying out for Team USA U19. Tell me about your experience and what's the difference between that games and these games? Well, I mean, both of them are just incredible players playing at an incredibly high level. And uh, But I think this is definitely a little bit different vibe. It's really intense. you got to prepare for this for months ahead of time. you got a lot of great guys from all over the country, a little bit of younger guys as well. And it's just the best players in the country, and it's such an honor to be here. Now you're going to Virginia next year? Yes. How, what are you going to take away from this to, that you could take down to the University of Virginia? Um, I think probably just the work ethic. It was uh, an incredibly hard journey to get here, to get to this uh, trial phase, and it just gave you uh, a sense of how hard you have to work to make it into college across. Okay, tell me about the tryouts. Uh, what, what was the schedule, like yesterday and today? Or? Yeah, the schedule was uh, Friday, today, or Friday, Saturday, and today. And every day it was uh, either were team meetings, hanging out with the guys, bonding, or we're practicing with the team, things like that. It was all about camaraderie and making guys. We tried to make an unbreakable brotherhood, and I think we have done that. Proud that you're from Baltimore, and here they are having the practices and tryouts here in Baltimore. Absolutely. It's an honor. That's great. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Thank you. Come on, Alex. Ryan, make sure Timmy doesn't leave so he can get the picture. He's not going anywhere. David's here. Ryan, run. Yeah, one run. sack, one sack. Okay. All right, Alex, tell me about your game. You had, what, four goals? Yes, sir. Um, great game. Honestly, I was able to get in a lot of open gaps because the talent here is so good, and other guys set me up, and I was able to finish some shots. And then tell me about your experience with Loyola Blakefield. How's that carry you on here? Oh, it's incredible, and I think Loyola has a lot of things that we try to embody here with Team USA. I think brotherhood's one of them. Loyola is big on brotherhood. Everybody's sticking together. Everybody does everything together. And I think this weekend that was a big thing for USA. And I think it started with the running on Friday. They worked us hard and we stuck together as a team and everybody fought through together. 
everyone was able to help pick everybody up and we were able to make it through that as well as the whole weekend due to brotherhood. That's great. Now, what are you looking forward to next? Um, hopefully, I'll be lucky enough to participate in the 30-team man roster practice in November. If not, it was a great experience. I had a great weekend, and this was really all I could ask for, getting to play with some of the best guys in the country, made a lot of new friends and brothers on it for life. How did it feel to score a winning goal? I mean, it felt amazing. I saw Ryan pick up the ground ball down the other end after a great save by Phil, and I've probably seen that play a million times in my head since I was about 10 years old. We were playing together back with uh, Looney's Lacrosse Club. I saw Ryan bring it down the field, and I knew just to get out of his way and slide to the middle. Luckily, I was able to make the easy play and finish it off inside. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You know, someone will. Really? Oh, yeah. I actually knew him. Yeah. I, knew him year. I knew him my freshman year. Yeah, he played for yeah. Crawford. Yeah. People that actually ask me, I guess. Oh my! All right. How am so, I look? This is good. Yeah, it's perfect, man. All right. All right. Just tell me about your day and what you learned from this, and just go ahead and do whatever. Talk about whatever you want. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You know, here we are, second camp. You know, incredible opportunity for us to to build on week. Uh, what we what we really established in our first camp. You know, the foundation was laid. We came in here with a checklist. I thought it started with our staff really coming together. Uh, a lot of chemistry amongst uh, the players. You know, and again, we got the framework of who we are, you know, the, at least the building blocks in. And I thought you saw today in the game uh, a much more organized and cleaner lacrosse than what we saw in our first camp. Very unselfish lacrosse being played. Kids played very hard. Uh, and we're excited. You know, we got some really challenging decisions. Uh, we're splitting hairs on a lot of these guys. Uh, it's a very talented group. Uh, but when we do get it down to 30, you know, we'll be excited to get our first uh, opportunity outside competition in November. And certainly learn more about who we are at that point. So I guess you'll be watching a lot of tape tonight, huh? Yeah, you know, we got a lot of film to, to sort through, and I think again, you know, we're going to really focus on what we feel like is the blueprint that we've created for these men, and, and what we feel like we're going to need to be successful at next summer in order to complete our mission of a world championship. Tell me about your coaching staff. Yeah, I mean that that to me has been one of the really extraordinarily uh, enjoyable parts of this for me so far. Outside of being able, to be able to put the red, white, and blue on, is, is work with some tremendous people. Uh, U.S. Lacrosse has done a remarkable job of putting this uh, this whole thing together. I've been really, really impressed. Mr. Laco and his staff, um, our coaching staff is, is really a, an incredible combination of college coaches and high school coaches blended together, and it's been fun. I mean, it's been great to get so many different ideas and insights uh, from the evaluation side to the practice plans that we created together, uh, and a lot of really nice chemistry has, has started to take place. Wonderful. Awesome. Thank you. Just think I've been here. That's right. I'll see you in October.